Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Gaming Library. I'm your librarian for the evening, Bruno Fightmaster, and we are back with the thrilling conclusion of Kutaro in Puppeteer. So yes, we are on the very final stage. But narrator, give us the lowdown. With the future of Earth and Moon hanging in the balance, Castle Black loomed larger than ever. Inside, Kutaro must face his mortal enemy, the Moon Bear King. The final battle draws near. It's the beginning of the end, folks. Indeed. We have successfully claimed all the Moonstones. We brought them back to the castle. We turned Asma Potts, the kitchen witch, who I definitely called in an earlier episode, back into the Moon Goddess, as she rightfully was. Uh, and then apparently Moon Bear King has devoured enough souls that he just kind of flicked her back into the uh, Shadow Realm. So, uh, yeah, it's up to us to finish the job, I guess. But let's do this. Now back to Kutaro's tale. For the thrilling conclusion. Puppet vs. Moonbear King. Ah, fate. As the forces of light and darkness. It's gonna be a slobber knocker. What could the moon say? But Polo. The bitter struggle for power between the shimmering castle Waxwave and the shadowy castle Grizzlestein had reached a healthy boil. Hero and Tyrant would soon have their final showdown. At stake were not just one boy's fate, but the fate of the whole moon, and the earth, and the sun, and galaxy, and... Well, let's just say he better not mess up. I think I'll be fine. It just so happens, Kutaro and Picarina weren't the only ones who had refused to give up on the White Castle. A battle be brewing, me yes. parties! Man the long toms! Raise those mizzen masts! Look alive, me buckos! There be no getting the Davies now! Aim for the Black Castle! Where be my coxswain? Ying yang! Faster! Put you back in it! Hi, hi, Captain. Thank you, Captain Gaff. Some beauty, Esma Potts has need of her able seaman. Fire! Fire! Thanks to Kutaro, the White Castle had been restored. And now the stage was set for their epic clash with Castle Grizzlestein. Blimey, that firepower! Kudro, me lad! Why haven't you stormed the enemy vessel? <laughs> you're the pirate! Oh, all right, fine, we'll do it, since you're obviously not gonna. Handsomely, no! <laughs> Trajectory locked! Fire! All right. Oh, hello? Sail straight and true, me lad. The moon needs Something like that. Alright. Oh, hey, by the way, guys. Have a bomb. Oh. Nope, I need the... Nope, okay. That's fine. Destroying this section ought to stop Grizzlestein in its tracks. Okay. Well, then let's do it. Cut right through. All the way across. Here, have a bomb. Alright, and. Again, scissors with electrical wire. What? We're trapped! There must be a way out! Yes, there is. Ow. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Let me hit the button, please. Alright, fine. There. For now. Here, have a bomb. Have many bombs. We have many bombs! We don't know where they are now. <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke for only me. Props to those of you who do know what that joke is referencing. But I'll tell you what, that is definitely not a joke. That should be for kids on this channel. But that's okay. What's the hold up, lad? We can't 
Oh, hello. Nope. Okay. Eh. Grab head. Can I? Okay. Oh, no, this just timing. Okay. There we go. Grab another head. Okay. I was doing the right way. Oops. That's fine, though, because I have to get it back. Oh, and yes, somehow I can just cut... Well, they are magic scissors, so I guess it makes sense that I just cut a screw in half. Them. Oh. But there was no time to celebrate. No, now you're just gonna blast me. I don't know where you're blasting me to. Oh. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Shoo. Oh, okay. Yep, get ahead. It took the fire and brimstone sort of fire to keep this castle stoked. Kutaro jumped over to the cylinders and cut through the belches of smoke. Oops. Uh, uh, okay. A whole lot of things. Ooh, I got a grub head. Nice. Save souls. Hooray. Wee. Another trouble waited just past the exhaust pipe. Oops. Alright, fine. Well, I'm not gonna jump over it. Yep, I'm working on it. There we go. Save, 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 save. Bombs. Bim. Okay. Oh. So come over here, hit it again. the engine, I think. As my pot's me sweet, see how me cannons blast for the heat. Just break you stupid castle. Patience, love. Ooh. That's a that's a lot. Anyway. Save your own dang witch. Come to a camp. Bye. I bet they will. But hey, I'm already across. Uh, oh, hello. 
Give my head back, please. Oh, no? No? Okay. Fire. Wow, that's a dangerous place for me to be. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, no! Okay. Well. Okay. There, have a bomb. What's this painting on the wall? A grub? Yes, it is a grub. Oh my god! Ooh. It's a super grub! No, a mega grub! Or maybe it's the introduction to the bonus thing. I mean, could it not be a little column A, a little column B? <laughs> well, that was bad. Eh, oh well. Anyway. Okay. Oh, I can just go on top. Haha, I did not know. This Enable the black castle to auto reload with its cannon. No wonder they're able to keep pounding us. Shoot. Give me a head. Uh no 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 no. Okay, well I guess yes. Okay. This is fine. Oh. Can you give me another head too? Fine, I'll take that. Just uh, wait, I guess. Look over here. Oh, nope. Okay. Well, let's run to that one too while I don't have a head. So we don't quite have to worry about it as much. Okay. Cool. And that's fine. Over there for me to go to, or nope, just gonna transition to the next scene all of a sudden. That's fine. Oh, okay. okay now run! Oh. The black castle was just I don't know about that. Away from a massive explosion. Were Kutaro and Picarina going to make it? I mean, probably. Is it right on top of us, though? I, I don't think it is. Okay, I guess it kind of is. At least the fiber that one was. Mm. Anyway, yes. We made it. Plenty of time to spare. Castle Waxwain's fuselage and Kuzuro's own efforts, the Black Castle had finally screeched to a halt. Its ramparts ruptured and Bailey's blazed, and the yeah, huh? cheering echoed through its dying hall. However... Oh, little bear. You are in no position to pity me. I am all powerful. I don't know about that. What does that achieve? It won't fill the emptiness in your heart. You have no friends you trust, no family to love, no subjects who love you back. You're still just the lonely little bear you've always hmm. been. Power changes nothing. I don't need love. My subjects and soldiers, and the people of the moon and the children of the earth serve just one purpose to feed my hunger. Uh huh. Oh, you're big. That's cheating. You're a very big bear. Now, 
Kutaro had done a lot of growing up during his journey, but the tyrant had just one-upped him in a big way. And unfortunately, it is mathematically proven that nastiness is directly proportional to body mass. Is it now? I don't know about all that. Once again, oh. the Moonbear King loomed before okay. the hero. His sheer size alone put small mountains to shame. No? I'll devour the whole moon if that's what it takes to get rid of you worms. Ah! Well. That's your fault. Nope, nope, that way. Yeah. Okay. Blow you up with bombs. Working on it. Yeah, I'm, I, I got that. I did that the first time already. Oh, no. Yeah, two heads. Also, what is your obsession game with having Kutaro, like, snip off body parts? And by that I mean, like, nails and teeth and all that kind of stuff. That's... That's a lot. Alright. So take care of your feet. Now it's time to take the next part of you down, I guess? The boy was a whirlwind, and at last, the tyrant bent the knee. Alright. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Uh. Was not quite expecting, like, an oogie boogie situation here. Oh. I get my head back? No, I cannot. Oh, okay. Got all that. Pull you off. Please. There we go. Okay, open up. Thank you. Alright, now snip off all these buttons. It's like a weird Coraline situation. Okay. Snipping off buttons, snipping through... Seems. Alright. Hey, you're the one who decided to eat the souls of every children on the every child on every children? Every child on the face of the earth. You brought this upon yourself. Bypass you. Bypass you. The quote unquote all powerful tyrant was getting taken apart at the seas by Calibra. Snip! Soul of the soul slipped out of his stuff. That's it! Keep it up! Alright. That's phase two. Now we have phase three. I'm assuming it's the final one. Yes. Okay. Oops. I don't know about that. Oh, get head back. I missed. Okay, that's fine. Jump the wheel. Come here! Two. Bam. All right. Oh, oh, we're going up now. All right. You've got to be careful. The red ones are so hot. 
Yes, I'm aware. What are you gonna do? Alright. Around the wrist. Or arm, I should say. Around the shoulder. Up the back. And around the other arm. And now, what's left of the last one? Oh, man. I think he's gonna cry. Wow, we go for the evil one. Off with his head! He like a king at all now. You! You! Or even Lucy. Then at least I'll destroy you. I don't know about that. Trying to eat me. <laughs> Haven't people told you it's not nice to eat others? Okay. And smack. Back of the head one more time. Whoops. You bypass you and bypass you. And a good another smack to the back of the head. Wow. And then you're cutting off his nose? That's just mean. Kudaro, what are you doing? You are the worst when it comes to cutting off body parts. steal my soul, so. I'm just trying to save myself. Anyway, so let's do that. Moon Bear King! Oops. Uh, not quite. Because I just get to try it again. You shouldn't have like an ending thing. If I'm just going to be able to come back and fight you one more time. In the same glorious cutscene. But, you know, that's just me. Wow, this, and again, this looks ridiculous when I have a penguin for a head. Not even just a penguin head, but a full penguin. Okay. You're fine. Look, that wasn't it either. What did you want? Well, what the heck did you want? I hope it was worth it. Silence. All I wanted. All I wanted was. 
Somebody to love. He just needs somebody to love. The goddess! Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Thank you, Kuturu. You were very brave. Ah. Ahoy, where be me fair Esma? Right here, Romeo. What? Ah, ah, no! Ah. The Mune Witch, Esma Potts. Yeah. The Mune Goddess. Didn't we go over this? <gasps> no, you mean you feel like we Yeah, we did. Well, it's your fault for not having... Or at least I said it, but I don't know about that. The was shattered. My memories and powers were jumbled, and I was transformed. Captain Gaff, I shall never forget your... kind attentions. Soften me, Timber! The one perfect wow. beauty in this hideous world! Gone! Ha-ha! <laughs> All be done! Yeah, huh. Okay. Calm down. Get the Black Moonstone from Little Bear. We have to set things right again. Little Bear, that power is too much for you. Give it back. But without this, I'm nothing. I'd... I'd just be me. Would you still be my friend? Pals to the bitter end. Oh, Kutaro. And so the two Moonstones were joined together. Light and shadow waxing and waning in balance. The way the night sky had always made. What? what? Okay. Oh, hooray, you're back to your normal form, too. <laughs> Don't fret one, little head. You have grown to a hundred times the boy you used to be. So big is your soul that your old head would hardly fit. Quite right. <laughs> uh, Kutaro, how will we stay friends if you're going far, far away? Hush now, little bear. You have a friendship, and that is a ship that can sail anywhere. Once uh -huh. tight, always tight. <laughs> um, we'll always be friends, even the goddess. <laughs> hmm, really? I must remain impartial. I suppose she'd rather consort with stuffed animals in her magic castle. Poor thing. I heard mm -hmm. that. And so Kutaro's journey to save the moon came to a grand and joyous conclusion. Yeah! Come back to me, Esma Potts, flower of the moon. Would that I could pluck you again. Davy Jones, take me. Me world be hellfire. For most of the parties can see. Yeah. And so, the journey of Kutaro has come to an end. All Bear wanted was a friend. And now he has one, I think. Anyway, the epilogue. Maybe. Yes, the epilogue. Oh, I get my head. Goodbye forever. And yes, now we are at the credits. How lovely. So yeah, that was a 
It's Puppeteer. It's a, it's a cool little game. I do like it. There are a few things that I have problems with. Um, the platforming's a little off. It's not really the greatest in the world. Um, but that's kind of a minor complaint. Um, the story itself, I mean, I kind of knew what I was getting into when I was getting into it, so I, I mean, I know it's for kids. Um, and I think it's kind of obvious that this was better made as, like, a spectacle. Um, because with everything kind of coming toward the screen, I think if there was, like, the PlayStation 3D, for instance, that would make this game kind of really cool. Um, especially to, like, little kids. I could see this being really great. Maybe it's, like, a family game, actually. Um, this could be one where it's, like... I wonder if there is multiplayer for this. Probably not. But, like, this is a game that, you know, like, a younger kid could play it, and then maybe, like, someone plays Picarina or something like that. It's a nice, like, bedtime story type game. Um, having said that, it's kind of lackluster in really anything else. I mean, it's a little goofy. It, it's fine. But the platforming, and especially things like this, as far as kind of cutting across the different uh, threads and all of that really isn't the greatest. Um, there are a lot of times where it's very finicky on where you have to like jump and all the things like that. So, I mean, it, it's fine. I, I don't mind this game. I actually enjoyed playing it and I think it's a nice little addition to the library here. Uh, kind of an old one, um, but it seems to be a good one too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed your time uh, with Puppeteer like I did. I think that's going to be probably our epilogue here as well. I'm going to try to, I think, combine some of these epilogues as opposed to doing them as a separate video. Unless it... Probably for ones like these where it would make sense to put it at the end when it's uh, kind of a shorter end video here. Might try to combine them. But, uh... Either that or else if I have more to say about a game, then maybe I'll do a separate one. But until then, uh, I think we'll just keep kind of the shorter ones here with uh, the video itself. And, uh, yeah. So, another one, another book closed for the gaming library. I hope you all enjoyed your time as much as I did. If you do, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, like the video if you feel so inclined. Uh, subscribe uh, if you're interested. Definitely let other people know about this channel. That's what's really going to help us out, help get uh, more people connected with this community, and help start building that community. I would love to have more uh, kind of as a group type of thing as far as like what games to show on here. Uh, but yeah, we will pick back up next time with something else. I'm not sure what. Uh, that's probably something to think about. Hmm. But until next time, friends, this is your humble... I suppose narrator would be appropriate for this one, even though there was a narrator here. But this is your humble narrator and librarian, Bruno Fightmaster. Checking out.